I thought I would come on here and share with you in all of my glory a little bit of my story and how I got here to where I am now and just uh, so that you know in case any of it resonates with you as well um, because until recently, when I started looking back, I couldn't see the bigger picture of where I was. Um, and I spent a lot of years really sad, uh, really bordering on depression, lots of anxiety, and just not really happy and fulfilled, and not knowing what that looked like or how to get there. Um, but at the same time, I was, by society standards, checking off all of the boxes. I had a great career, living in the city. I had uh, a car. I had lots of friends. I, you know, had successfully graduated college and all those awesome things that you're supposed to do. And slowly, bit by bit, that just, wasn't working for me. I was working, I don't even know, like 12 hour days, six days a week, which I mean is supposed to be awesome. That's supposed to be what you do. Um, and just couldn't get out of the rut. Uh, I had stomach pains. I started getting like ulcers. I started having worse back problems. I kind of always had back problems, but they just slowly got worse and worse. Um, and after six years, I had to leave my career that I had gone to school for. Um, and also against all of my better judgment and feeling like a complete and utter failure, I got another job, which also uh, was in my career path and a dream job, uh, but I had to move home. Yes, I was, 20 something, this was 2013, moving home to live with my parents at mid 20s. Isn't that like everyone's dream? Um, but from there still, uh, I was still in like my days of unhappiness, but I had now had like my dream job, something I'd always wanted to do, something I dreamed about doing in public school before I even went to college or pursued anything secondary um, and things started to get a little bit better I bought a house I started checking off some more boxes you know again dream job house car making lots of money all these things and once again I just wasn't happy um, things didn't go the way that I hoped that they would go and I switched jobs again. <laughs> Found myself actually jobless for months. So I just bought a house. I had no job for months. Uh, I was in such a funk, such a rut that I literally could not process what I was going to do with my life. Um, thankfully I found another job again dream job it if i thought the last one was everything i ever wanted this one was like all of the check boxes it was like high-end custom home building in case you don't know me i went to school for architectural technology i know now i'm here that just tells you like your whole path and journey can go anywhere um and here i was again Dream job. It was everything I ever wanted. When I was a kid in public school, I my idea of fun was a gigantic whiteboard and drawing dream house plans on it. And I loved construction and everything about it. So for all intents and purposes, this should have been it for me. Um, but again, I was sick. I slowly just mentally, emotionally got worse and worse. Um, and then when I didn't listen to that, you know, I was sick like once a week. 
I would take vacations and come back and feel like I hadn't had a vacation. Um, so my body stepped in and let me tell you, there is nothing less fun than your body just stepping in and taking the choice away from you. Um, so where I thought I was figuring myself out and figuring things out, I was so physically sick. I mean, I was mentally and emotionally sick and then I got physically sick and it all came to a head after three years there. Um, to me, waking up one morning, uh, I knew I had to make a change already and I was already like working on what that would look like, uh, but I'd waited too late. So I woke up one Monday went to get out of bed, which was already a struggle for me, and went to shower. And I was standing in the shower and I almost passed out. I was in so much pain that I didn't know if I was gonna throw up or if I was gonna literally pass out in the shower. I had to turn it off and crawl from the shower, crawl out of the bathroom, into the living room, and that is where I was found, was lying on the floor in the living room in so much pain that I didn't know what to do with myself and didn't know what was wrong with me. And that continued for at least a solid two months. I was in so much pain, I couldn't stand long enough to brush my teeth. I wasn't even not in pain while I was laying down. I didn't sleep, I could barely eat because I couldn't get up to feed myself. Um, I just laid there. That was all I could do. Uh, so I didn't have a choice. The choice was removed for me for what I was going to do. Uh, and it set me on this path that I'm now on, that I've been on since 2019, early, March, something like that, May. Um, of really committing to myself, finding myself, finding my path, my purpose, and healing my story. Because while, um, while there was nothing big that stands out to me to give me any clues on what has happened or how I ended up here or what I need to do, I can look back now and I can see all of the little things. I can see all the tiny little traumas that built up. Um, and I've had the tests, I've had the ultrasounds, I've seen the doctors, and there was never anything wrong with me. The best case guess is that that was my body's stress and trauma response to just years of not living my truth, more or less. Um, I was in such a heightened state of stress and like fight or flight all the time that my body was just like, okay, if you're not going to listen, that's enough. We're done. It's time to move on. And that's how I ended up here. That is the condensed yet still long winded version of how I ended up here. I have a lot more for you. Um, if you watch this whole thing, <laughs> thank you. And uh, that is where I came to this uh, next evolution in my purpose is to help you. And I want to help anyone who feels even the slightest bit like I did or still sometimes do. I, it, your journey is your own and I can't change that um, and I don't want to change that for you. However, if I can spare anyone any of the immense difficulties uh, that I had to go through or just help them feel a little bit more supported during their journey and their path and uh, healing that inner story of your own, that's what I'm here for. I just want to anchor that light for you. I want to hold that space for you and just be your support when you feel like you need someone and you can't find them. That's what I'm here for. So 
part one to be continued. And again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And have a glorious moment wherever you are. Bye.